Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. It is Veronica here. I'm excited to have you join me. It is jewelry party Wednesday and I have my trays loaded up with all kinds of gorgeous pieces and I'm very excited to see you all here. So let's chat about some awesome pieces that we have. Hopefully you'll learn a little something and you'll be inspired to add a few of these pieces to your collection. Hi Anne, how are you? We've got some gorgeous beauties today, uh, pieces from all over. I'm starting off as usual by showing you one of my favorite pieces, which is this gorgeous check necklace uh, that features this beautiful cobalt blue and this beautiful red glass and also has the faux pearls with it too. This piece fills the neckline, as you can see, so nicely and the colors are very vibrant. So it's a really great, really unique piece uh, it's definitely something that has this sort of royal feeling to it and it just has this very dynamic style to it so it's a gorgeous piece this one is by far one of my favorites hello Elaine hello Anne hello Jennifer hello Megan uh, if you're new to us be sure to say hi let us know where you're from let us know what your favorite type of jewelry is and we'll be very excited to talk about jewelry as well as see some gorgeous pieces hi Gail hi Margaret we all of our friends Friends are here I'm so excited to see all of you uh, if you're here please tag a friend share the video we want to be able to share the vintage meet modern love and we want to be sparkly and wonderful and fabulous all together so this gorgeous piece is one of my favorites I love the way that this piece feels the neckline uh, it is an earlier check piece uh, as you can see it has very dynamic colors and it's very very easy to make a dramatic statement piece even with something so simple as just a scoop neck. Uh, the colors are very vibrant so even if you put it with some darker colors you're still going to be able to see the red and the blue show up and of course with the accent of the pearls you get to see all the different colors and styles together. It does not look like it's a red white and blue patriotic. Uh, it just looks like it's got a ruby and a cobalt color and then the pearls with it and so it's something that's just very unique and just beautiful coloring. So this is by far one of my favorite pieces that we have tonight uh, and it's just it is it's so beautiful Beautiful. It's got such great condition uh, and look at that red translucence and that blue translucence too. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. All right, next up, I'm going to do something a little bit fun because I'm going to share another piece that I have, but this time I've decided to pull out some of those clothes uh, that I had hanging on the rack earlier this week. And this one is just a very simple blouse. It sort of has a cherry blossom feel to it with the red and the cream going on it. And here I've layered it with that Venetian glass necklace that we have that has the sort of their cage style beads. They're kind of floating, same sort of style as that you have uh, the pools of light. Uh, these are not pools of light, but it sort of has a similar styling to it, which is that the beads are not drilled all the way through. Each one of the little beads is actually wired in place. So this is a great piece that you can see. There's a lot of versatility in the color. Uh, this is one that I've showed also for a longer neckline that you can see it fills the neckline very nicely doubled up. And you can see the way that you can use this against complementary colors or you would be able to move this with a neutral. Uh, the other thing that I really love about it is, is that you looked at those orange beads that I'm showing you, but what's really fantastic about them is they have that color changing effect in them. So you know this top is more of a red orange, but if you put this with different colors you would see it be being more of a true orange or maybe even more of a deeper red all depending on what you put with it uh, it's also a nice longer length so you can easily be able to also wear it long sort of flapper style uh, and you know it's easy to also double it up and then of course I like the fact that it has those flat little filigree style beads that are in uh, each one of the little stations. So this piece is another really nice piece. Putting it up against the neck, you can see that it fills the neckline again very nicely and that the colors show up beautifully as well. So another great piece. And when you're seeing that little flash, there's actually some extra colors that are floating inside of the actual glass Venetian beads. So this one's a really nice lamp work piece. Uh, and as you can see, it has a lot of versatility that goes with it also. Now, next up, I am going to talk about some of the gorgeous brooches that we have this week. We also, we've got some really fantastic ones. This features a champagne style with an iridescent. 
and I pulled out over here I have sort of a mod leopard print top this is a leopard print sort of styling sweater that is from J Crew. as you can see it has a little bit of a metallics running through it but I wanted to show you again if you either have a brooch connector or if you want to wear this medallion style at the center, you can see how pretty this champagne color looks with your sort of lighter and taupe colors. But then also remember, look at how beautiful that this looks even against the gray. So lots of different ways to be able to wear this one and really beautiful work that is on it. It's not too big, it's not too small. You could of course wear it on the side of a sweater. You could wear it in the center. Uh, and also it's just a great neutral. When I put it up against here, against my own shirt, you'll get to see how pretty it actually even gets to look even against like a chartreuse color that I have on. It's another one of those really unique sort of pieces that kind of has that color changing effect. But I do like the fact that this one has got that sort of champagne styling to it. Uh, speaking of pieces that also are lovely, we have this piece, which also feels fe also features the hematite style rhinestones. So this is actually a coating that is on the outside of the rhinestones and then this has got sort of a star sapphire, kind of like a moon glow type piece. I point out that it's sort of like a star sapphire. It's not really exactly one, but the way that you catch the light with the reflection, it definitely, it from all different angles, can look like a little bit of a mirrored effect. And so I'm gonna bring that other blouse that I had back up here again, and I'm gonna show you how lovely it is, again, with this sort of coloring. Uh, very easy to wear with your creams and your neutrals. And again, if you go ahead and you put it against here, you can see how lovely it looks with grays and taupes and other metallics. Another great piece to just wear over and over again, and you can definitely wear this one with your classic blacks and grays too. So another really nice piece, and it's not too big and not too small. So that's another favorite of mine. Also, uh, speaking of pieces that go well and go nicely with everything as long as we're talking about those champagne -y colors, we have a beautiful pair of kite style earrings. So you can see this is the kite style design that has the Aurora Borealis stones with it. Uh, and it's another one that's a great piece, great size and scale. And if you've seen that book on collecting rhinestones that I have here in our collection, this is actually a style that's actually featured in the book and on the cover. It talks about the uniqueness of the kite style rhinestones. And it's another piece that it goes very nicely with the champagne style brooch that I showed you. So you can kind of pick up on the same sort of kind of iridescence that you're seeing in the brooch. You can pick up on them very easily within the earrings too. So these are another really great pieces that we have this week. And also I love being able to show you the way that you can put them all with kinds of different colors uh, and really make the most of them. Hi Alicia, how are you? I had fun packing up your horse necklace. It was really, really fabulous. It was one of my favorite pieces. So as long as we're talking about that, we had that awesome horse necklace. Uh, Alicia's here. She was the lucky lady who nabbed it. Uh, but I wanted to tell you, for those of you who liked the black and the gold and the diamante that was in that horse necklace, these are also awesome earrings. These are those vintage Swarovski checkerboard style and they feature the gold and the rhinestones and the checkerboard. So if you have a now a newer appreciation for that black enamel work that you see frequently in that figural style jewelry, this is a perfect pair of earrings to add to your look because they go so nicely with all those pieces. This is also another piece that's, again, it's a nice size, nice scale, uh, classic styling in terms of the round sort of button style. There we go, just had to make sure I got it on straight. And again, it's another one that goes very nicely with a variety of colors. I keep pulling up this because I'm trying to show you how easy it is to wear with a neutral. And I like this neutral because it's got some cream running through it, it's got some beige running through it, and it also has the little bit of the gray and the silver. So you can see how easy it is, again, to match something up like this uh, with whatever you have hanging in your closet. So those are definitely fun ones that we have that are definitely new this week as well. So we had the kites and we also have the checkerboard pieces. These are all really fabulous ones too. Anne says, thank you for showing the jewelry against your wardrobe. Thank you. I'm glad to be doing that. I'm trying to pull out more things that we have uh, and things that are just not also in my coloring, but that might be in your coloring too. Uh, so you can see the versatility of being able to wear these pieces over and over again. Because I don't know about you, 
I frequently change things. Sometimes I want to wear more neutrals. Sometimes uh, Dr. Phil's wife, Robin, has been wearing some pretty brooches lately. Oh, I didn't know that. So I was I was watching earlier when I was like walking on the treadmill and stuff like that, that I saw a few other people who were uh, wearing um, different brooches. Uh, I love it and I made it a black and white for decoration for the documentation. That's awesome So this is the Anne Klein Couture. It's the square basket weave necklace and this one is another one of my favorites uh, It has got a little bit of this square link and I think it gives more of a polished look But it's definitely one of those pieces that you can wear every day with all different kinds of styles So as you can see I have it on with the blue and the scoop neck but again, this was another one that you can easily be able to show how easy it is to mix and match. You could wear it with things that are more of a neutral color and then have some of the pops of the red. This is always a really pretty way to wear it. And then of course, I keep going back to this neutral one that I keep pulling out because you can see the way that this will actually go with a lot of grays, blacks, topes. Uh, creams and then of course other little hints of gold as well, too So there's a lot of different pieces that you can have that you can appreciate this one and pieces like this always do double triple quadruple uh, You know you come out to pennies per wear when you decide to add something to this to your collection because it can be very polished and poised and elegant or you can just throw it on with a scoop neck and a cardigan like I have on today and totally make it your own statement necklace. Uh, sometimes I talk about how that the best statement necklaces aren't necessarily always the ones with the rhinestones and the bling, though we all love our bling here. I know that we can all say that wholeheartedly. But this one also has a very, very nice feeling on. It's a nice higher end designer. It's gonna hold on to its collectible value. Uh, and also it's gonna be one that's gonna last because the condition is just excellent. It has very nice articulated links as well. So that is another fabulous piece that we have this week. Uh, I'm all about chains. I love being able to add chains. Uh, I showed this earlier this week. I wore it with a like a wrap top type piece from uh, Banana Republic. It was kind of an olive green color. This one is the Leslie Block made in the USA uh, logo necklace. And this one again is really awesome. You can obviously wear it long like this uh, and then put the toggle through it or you can double it up, which is of course what I would do. And the doubling up is actually very comfortable because it's a very long piece. So very easy to be able to do that. Go ahead and knot it around. I like wearing the toggle as the lower strand versus the higher one. So I kind of play with it until I get it to lay where I want to. Uh, but I really like being able to kind of layer up on chains. And if you saw earlier this week, I actually even had it layered with a daintier necklace that was part of my own fine jewelry collection. And you could see how you could really be able to uh, make a really nice look by having all of these pieces together. And it will definitely go with your other fine jewelry pieces. Like Leslie Block's pieces, they are collectible. They were made in the USA in the 1980s. Uh, this one has no wear to the plating. Uh, chunky chains are always in style. Sort of just depends on how you decide that you wanna wear them. You can wear them doubled up, you can wear them long, you can wear them layered with pearls. But again, this is another really awesome piece that you'll just enjoy and appreciate for years to come. And it's in very good condition. So I know yesterday, for those of you who joined me on my talk about skincare, I was talking about how early and earlier this week that, you know, besides taking care of your skin, if you wanna really have like that earth real glow, be sure to add some gold jewelry. And for those of you who don't think that you can wear gold jewelry, another thing that I tell people to keep in mind is, is that there's a shade of gold for everyone. So you can go towards the 10 karat side, which is very, very pale. Sometimes it even looks like a silvery gold. And then you can go all the way to the higher carat side, which has that very, very deep gold, um, almost like it's an ancient color, the 24 karat gold. Or there's shades of rose gold, which obviously have the pinky and the rose undertones. I know that Leanne's favorite is rose gold. And then of course, though it's not a gold, um, there's also of course pieces that are in white gold as well too. So there is definitely a gold for everyone, but I do want people to know that there's so much flexibility in being able to naturally warm your skin up by just adding a gold piece of jewelry. And this Leslie Block chain is another fantastic one. It's a great find.
and now I have to, you know, it's so funny. I'm always talking about how I'm nervous about getting them off in the back. Now I don't want to get the toggle stuck in the front. <laughs> okay, there we go. You can see how easy that one is actually to take on and take off. We also have got a really fantastic brooch this week. We have this huge domed brooch that features this citrine color and amber color. It has a smoke rhinestone. It's a large dome style. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, and it also has a pair of matching earrings that go with it. Uh, and you can see, so I have on this chartreuse color today, uh, but you're gonna see how nice it's gonna look with uh, both something that falls into the color. I love this actually even against the blue. How pretty is that against the blue side? Uh, and you can also see that the earrings can be pretty darn neutral if you want them to be. So if you want them to be able to look neutral, you can definitely be able to have them fall into that category. Here, I'm looking for the other one on my tray. And I'm also gonna show you by holding up that sweater again. Sorry if you feel like you're getting whiplash from me showing that so much, but for those of you who like being able to wear things again with the more muted colors, you can see how beautiful this looks like with that. And for those of you who like to wear more creams, look at the way that it pops against the cream. I mean, it looks like it's got some bright orange colors, but really what you're seeing is that beautiful effect of actually having all of these different tones matched together. So this is definitely one of my favorites, the large domed brooch. You can see how lovely the earrings catch the light. Aren't those lovely? Uh, and you can see this is just another fantastic style. And those of you who are saying that you're seeing more brooches, I do. I, you know, the brooch is back or bring back the brooch. I mean, those are both very popular hashtags on social media. And we do see such wonderful examples of people wearing brooches now more often. For those of you who are new or for those of you who are joining us once again, you're always gonna hear me say over and over again that the brooch is the most versatile accessory and it's always the go-to that I tell people to start a vintage jewelry collection with because it always fits. You don't need to know somebody's um, preference between 16, 18, or 20 inch necklace. You don't know, need to know somebody's wrist size. You don't need to know their finger size for a ring, but a brooch will always fit and you can always wear it with your winter coat. You can use it to close a pashmina. You can decorate your clutch. Uh, as you've seen, we've done the collaboration with Darling Clutch Co. So there's just a lot of different things that you can do with the brooch. And this is a really outstanding one. Tons and tons of sparkle. Uh, you know, And there's no missing stones. If you're seeing that flash, that's actually like a gray and a smoked rhinestone. So that's exactly what you're seeing. And the gray and the smoked rhinestone is also the center of these little sort of flower sort of blossom style earrings that we have. So really great, great, great piece. So those are new this week as well. Very new, just pick them up. Uh, these are really sweet too. These are a vintage Monet. These are a bezel set earrings with a faux pearl in the center. Uh, I actually, I have the card over there, but these are actually new old stock. Uh, they came on the original Monet card. So they are actually new vintage uh, that's never been worn. They have little tiny backs that are signed, but also the gold plating is. And one of the nicest things about this one is, dun, 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 these are pierced. So for those of you who are always looking for pierced vintage earrings, I know they're sort of a rare find with us. Uh, these are actually a pierced pair. And as you can see, they have that classic bezel set design, which is so popular with the Austrian crystal of the 80s, the Chanel style of the 1980s, uh, that bezel set chiclet necklace, uh, the Swarovski bezel set. So for those of you who are looking for something with a little splash of pearls and then the bezel set crystals, these will go perfect with your collection. So love, love, love those. Those are also new this week. Uh, let's see what else we have here. We have a very nice, we've got some really pretty glass pieces. So this is the blown glass necklace. It's a Venetian style. Kind of has like a little bit of a tiger stripe to it. This one's great. This one's also has a magnetic clasp on it. And look at that glow. Yeah, look at that. So this one lays like a flat disc. Uh, it has just this really beautiful coloring. As you can see, you'll have a different appreciation for it when you see it on because it just has that golden glow to it. Uh, and it also, this would actually look really pretty with leopard as a neutral. It'd be super fun with that. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hold up again. You can see how lovely it looks with the sort of 
creamy colors that's another one that you can pick up and pick up on the gold if you have different kinds of gold tops uh, and then of course you know if you're putting it up against the neutrals you can see the way that this would be really dynamic with just a classic cream or crepe so another really fun piece uh, feels very nice against the skin so for those of you who like the way that different kinds of jewelry feel against you this one is definitely one of those sort of winner winner pieces but i do like that when it looks like it's just flat uh you can't really see the dynamics and the colors or the great way that it gives you such a golden glow but then uh when you see it on you can see that it has this very luminous style to it so very pretty piece very unique uh the beads are of course um yeah the gold beads work awesome with warm greens yes yeah, so there's a lot that you can do with this necklace really great and you know I always have a lot of fun when we can pick up pieces that have really beautiful beads that are all blown glass and this one's it's it's heavy it's substantial not heavy enough that it wouldn't be comfortable wearing it all day but you can definitely tell the quality of the lamp work and the glass so super fun one that we have there uh, we have got an awesome pair of Capri earrings. We've got their huge disco ball style, a uh, huge rainbow style, as you can see, just really beautiful flashes of color. It's got a little bit of everything, little domed style. And in terms of statement earrings, these are, wow, these are really awesome. Uh, they're a nice larger size, as you can see, and they just have so much sparkle. They are like a party. That's the best way that I can describe them. They are like a party. They're so easy to be able to wear and put on. They're actually very comfortable. Uh, and they just have this really awesome coloring to them. They literally have every color of the rainbow. So you can definitely have an appreciation for these. And this is definitely an example of those really fabulous 1980s bling style that we find. So nice large. You can hear there if we can do it again. Nice, tight, secure clip. Same thing over here nice tight secure clip uh, so even though they're on the heavier side you can just know that they are really secure and they'd be very comfortable on your ears okay moving right along uh, again another fabulous piece I wore this uh, over the weekend I showed you I wore it with just a plain white t-shirt uh, from one of my favorites from J. Crew. This is that Etruscan style necklace. It sort of has an Egyptian revival feel. Uh, the gals over on Instagram really liked it. For those of you who are looking for something that is a longer statement necklace, this is another really great one because it does hang at a longer length. And I did show that when I wore this with the t-shirt that it does hit you at a longer length. So for those of you who love to wear things that are either with a higher neck or like wearing tunics or you like wearing just longer style dresses, this is a great piece to consider and add to your collection. Uh, it does have a really sort of beautiful styling uh, with this unique sort of style with the different two pieces of the articulation. And it also has got that tiny little hint of color with the turquoise and the coral art glass. And what's nice about it is, as you can see, I have a darker color on, but you can still see the way that those colors actually pop even against a dark color. And that's because it's been very well uh, put together and designed with the larger gold style frame around it. So this one's definitely another winner. This one feels like you can wear it year round. You can appreciate it as a statement necklace in the summer. You can appreciate it with wearing a long sleeve t-shirt in the winter. Lots of flexibility. And then this is another one that's a super fun one to put with other classic gold jewelry. So another big fan of this one. Um, this one's definitely one that I would add to my own jewelry box. It's just a really super very pretty piece. And as you can see, again, nice longer length and it really fills the neckline very nicely. Uh, let's see, we have got that sweet little green rhinestone brooch, the little grapes brooch, which has got all of these little tiny, uh, they're actually set inside the lucite in the green. And we have a pair of very pretty Vogue Bijou earrings. Uh, we had another piece that was really nice that was from Vogue Bijou last week, and those are sold and off to a new home. But for those of you who like green, uh, these are very sweet, sort of doubled style. They've got a lighter green at the top, and then they have the darker green at the bottom. And again, I'm going to use this as an example. Sorry again if I'm giving you whiplash with things, but I do like the way that you can bring this out against the cream. Uh, and you can see how pretty that the green looks 
with even simple cream colors. So again, another really pretty piece. Uh, this one's a nice one to be able to wear in a variety of different ways. And also like this is just fun. This is just a great piece to pop on casually just like when you have jeans or even if you just want to put on your jean jacket. And for those of you who have green eyes, um, the green's just a really pretty vibrant green, so it'll definitely go with a lot of other green pieces that you may have. And also, if green is one of your favorite colors, it's always great. And then in addition to that, it is St. Patrick's Day coming up. So for those of you who are planning your green around your jewelry, uh, these may be some pieces that you may want to pick up to add to your look around St. Patrick's Day. I'm Polish, so we'll be wearing, but Mr. Vintage Meat Modern is Irish, so we'll do something special for St. Patrick's Day too, but then you'll see me wearing red the next day for St. Joseph's Day. So lots of fun with that over here. Uh, we have an awesome pair of vintage signer earrings. I mean, you know signer is one of my all-time favorite personal brands. Uh, this is a camellia style. Uh, it has these beautiful leaves, and you know, you cannot beat the pieces from signer. Everything is, they're the oldest designer and costume jewelry company in the country. Uh, they've been in business for more than 130 years, and all of the pieces are made here in the USA, right in New York City. Uh, right off of 38th Street. Uh, so they're literally legendary. And for those of you who are looking for an amazing piece to add to your collection, these are truly absolutely outstanding. These are the pieces that you wear to every formal event that you go to. These are the pieces that you wear when you've got a chic shirt and just jeans and stilettos when you're going out for dinner or for cocktails. They're just this go-to piece that you will just love over and over again. And in true signer fashion, they have the look of real. So very heavy 18 karat gold plating. Every stone is hand set. These casts are all handmade. Uh, just really beautiful. If you've ever gone on YouTube and have seen my video of when I toured Signer, you'll have a greater appreciation as to why these pieces are so fantastic. So these are rare birds. Um, they're in fantastic condition. They're not missing any stones and nowhere to the plating. And these are definitely ones that for those of you who are looking to have those legacy style pieces, as I say, added to your collection, these are a definite must have. You will have a appreciation for them and enjoy them for many many years to come and always always receive compliments when you wear them so we've got those pieces I'm gonna contrast that with the for those of you who are looking for something that is a little bit more timeless and classic uh, we've got a very pretty pair of Mimi Denis earrings. These are the basket weave with the faux pearls in the center these are a great classic everyday earrings I'm changing jobs, so I have to resist a little bit longer. Well, I cannot wait to hear about your new job, and everybody wish Megan uh, a lot of luck on that. We want to know how it goes, uh, and we want you a, to have a lot of success wherever you land next. So I'm cheering you on. So we have got this gorgeous piece with the basket weave, and then we have the classic pearl in the center. This is, of course, perfect because you can wear it with other pearl jewelry. Uh, and it's another piece that's just super easy to wear, and you'll just enjoy wearing it over and over again. So these are great, and they literally go with everything. Uh, I think I mentioned over here, I was showing off earlier, We this was kind of my question mark piece of the week last week. Uh, this was the vintage piece that is actually signed Lisner. Man, when I put it on, I didn't think it was Lisner either. Uh, I thought, this, can this be? So this is the Lisner necklace, and I have this against, uh, let's see, is this the little... This is the vintage Avon one. We have the larger one, which I pointed out today. I was comparing it to that necklace from Saks Fifth Avenue, uh, to the Monet necklace that we have in stock. But this one is actually the thinner Avon necklace that we have, and you can see, normally I show these things on kind of a daintier chain, but here I am showing it tonight on actually a thicker chain. Uh, and this one is a beautiful color, and you can see the way that it kind of goes very nicely with the chartreuses and the greens. Uh, but you can also see that this one be another one that if we hold it up to even here, uh, you can see how lovely that this would be against sort of other colors with your grays. And then of course it go very nicely against your classic cream too. Let's I pull that out over there. So you can definitely wear it with your beautiful whites. So this is another really great piece. Uh, another fun piece about it is, is that this one has got a pair of matching earrings. 
uh, little pinwheel style uh, that match the pendant perfectly. And uh, these are a nice, again, kind of a warm gold. Uh, it's got that nice center style and they fit against the ear really beautifully. I always have to check and make sure that I don't have an earring on while I'm also trying to clip the other one on. Uh, so we've got this beautiful piece. Uh, and then of course we've got this one that has got both these colors and that light yellow kind of yellow canary diamond color. And then we also have it with that ambery color. So. This is a fun one. I like the fact that you can wear this very easily on a chunkier chain like this, but don't forget this would also make a beautiful longer pendant. So it's definitely one that if you even had like a snake chain or something like that and you wanted to wear it a longer length, it would be very easy to be able to do that and just change the look over it over again. So another fa fun, fabulous piece. Uh, really enjoy this one and I think that you can enjoy this one by mixing it and matching it with a lot of other pieces in your collection. So that's another piece that I am a huge fan of this week. Uh, we also, speaking of pieces that can be worn and do double duty, we also have this gorgeous Juliana Cha Cha brooch. And this one, as I hold it up to my neck, no, I'm not planning on pinning it to myself. This one actually has a loop that you can put through and you can wear it as a pendant. Uh, so this one is another great piece because you can wear it over and over again and then you can mix and match it with different kinds of lengths of chain. And uh, you can see again how pretty this one looks with the Aurora Borealis. You can see the way that you can catch the different kinds of grays and the different kinds of taupes and creams. And then of course the way that you can see it even match up to the other gold color. It's just a, such a pretty piece. Uh, lots of versatility and being able to enjoy this one. And of course it's really awesome that you can easily turn it into a pendant uh, if you don't wanna be able to wear it as a brooch. Yes, Alicia says so sparkly. Don't disagree, so sparkly, so beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous piece that we have here. And speaking of other gorgeous pieces, I can't help but continue to bring back, we've got some really fantastic bracelets this week. Uh, we have got the Crown Shafari, which has got the V-link. We've got the piece that features the pearls. And then we have this awesome looped uh, Vendome, which is another fantastic piece. And again, I'm gonna hold up that sweater that I've kind of been using as my example tonight. And you can see the way how beautiful this goes with all of this variety of colors. Can't you just tell that like, this is a perfect example of how you can change the look of one sweater over and over again, all depending on what kind of jewelry you put with it. And this is the sweater that I got via ThreadUp. So it's a J. Crew sweater, but I purchased it through ThreadUp. You know, you know I'm committed to the sustainable fashion movement, so I try to shop that way whenever I possibly can too. Uh, I love the resourcefulness of it as well, and you know, you can just see the way that if you invest in just a few great pieces, you can change the look of it over and over again with different accessories and really, really enjoy it. These are all kind of those magical pieces that just sort of pull your whole look together. So great you know information on these beautiful styling uh, I asked earlier during the week when I put up something and there were so many people who said that they collect Trafari which is just awesome and then you can see how lovely that this matches up against your classic creams so lots of versatility if you wear just a lot of classic solid neutrals you can definitely be able to get a lot of bang for your buck with these pieces and uh, we're kind of winding down here we've got a couple more pieces to show off um, I showed you earlier that chunky chain that we had from Leslie Block. This is a chunky chain that we have from Monet. Uh, this one has a little bit of a less shiny finish on it. So, and this one's a longer length. Uh, this one's a great one for wearing long. Um, be very pretty even if you had it with like a graphic tee. Uh, and, but this one I probably wouldn't double up, but I wouldn't think twice about wearing like a smaller pendant or a diamonds by the yard or something like that in the center of it. This is definitely a piece that I would definitely be able to just throw on with other things. And this is a great piece because it breaks up uh, the center of your body as well. So it um, instantly will also make you look longer and thinner and all the things that us girls always want to look. Uh, and then for those of you, again, if you're a little bit chestier, you can see that this one actually falls at a really nice length and it doesn't, as we say, lop to one side or lop to the other, which I know a lot of women always become concerned about once you start wearing longer necklaces. But as you can see, this one is a perfect fit and style for those of you who still like wearing a longer necklace um, and you also are concerned about how it's gonna 
I guess, lay in here. So that's just something to keep in mind. That's the reason why I like trying these pieces on so you can actually kind of get a feel for where it might hit on you, uh, as well as what kind of coloring and styling that you can put on it, as well as maybe what other jewelry you might have. Okay, we're winding down here. I, I keep saying that, but we really are. Uh, this is another great and gorgeous piece that we have. This one is a vintage necklace. This is a book piece from Monet. Uh, this has this sort of Roman numeral style design and it fits like a collar. Uh, so you're, you know, at the very beginning, I showed you that necklace that filled the whole neckline. Uh, and now I'm showing you this beautiful collar style necklace that features these articulated links and has this sort of Roman numeral style design. This also has a very much an Egyptian revival feel to it so you know if you close your eyes and you think about you know Cleopatra the movie uh, with Elizabeth Taylor you know you can definitely think about wow how this would have been something so straight out of those movies um, this is something that you would definitely stroll through and just feel like it's something that a goddess uh, or a princess or an empress would wear um, because it just lays so beautifully on the neck. And it's also a neat piece because in addition to the very nice workmanship, what is kind of special about this one is it does have a fold over clasp in the back, but this is an example of the way that these pieces were so well made and that they were intended to be worn over and over again. What you see here is the fact that there, this piece actually comes with an extender. So for those of you who like to wear it a little bit longer, you just slip this piece in and it naturally extends it. And you know, that is really what is awesome because this piece looks like it has literally been built into the necklace. It's not like even buying a necklace extender that you would get today. Uh, it actually looks like it blends in seamlessly and it looks amazing. So you never have to worry about how it's gonna fit you. This is definitely a collectible piece. It's in the Monet Masters book, uh, which is another great fun jewelry resource. Uh, it's another one that you can pick up very easily for a very reasonably price on uh, eBay. So if you are into collecting the jewelry books, since that one highlights a specific designer, you can definitely find the Monet Masters book for a very reasonable price and then add that one to your collection. So right now, and someone else said that they were reading the book about the Queen's jewelry, and I'm reading that one too right now as well. And then I am also uh, reading a book about 100 years of fashion. So I'm enjoying that one as well right now. Um, those are kind of my fun reads. And I also, I'm, what else am I reading? Oh, I'm reading a book on intermittent fasting. So, <laughs> so that's, that's what I'm reading right now. I'm reading uh, several different things uh, as well as I'm, uh, reading some things on friendship and goal setting too. I, I really like to read. So last night when I was talking about my wind down routine and I was saying like you can make it as long as you want when you're putting on different serums or getting self ready for bed and I frequently in between things spend a little time reading to wind down. So my time actually goes very quickly. This is that really large, fantastic uh, vintage Nolan Miller brooch. I love this one. Uh, if you saw me earlier this week, I also showed that clutch from Darling Clutch Co. again. Uh, this one is a great one to pin, of course, against your different sizes of ribbon. And as you can see, it also is another one that really fills the whole side of a sweater. So this one is a really fabulous one. Uh, Margaret says she's reading a book about the Cartier family. Ooh, you'll have to let me know about that one. Mr. Vintage Meat Modern is reading a book about the Getty family right now. So, And Mr. Michael is reading the 2020 kids version of the Guinness Book of World Records. Uh, last week he was telling me all about the different large size trees in the entire world. So uh, he also just recently got a book on all the presidents and he's just, you know, cause President's Day was just a few weeks ago. So he really, really loves that. So um, he's enjoying reading those. I'm enjoying reading that. Um, you know, we just had kind of a lot of fun, different things, you know, it's, it's February, so we're staying home and then plus COVID, you know, we're getting up, caught up on our readings, uh, now that we've already watched everything on Netflix. So we've got this piece. I love this one. Uh, this one goes with a really fabulous pair of earrings that we have as well. It goes with these little Joan Rivers ones that we have. Uh, with the basket weave styling on it. You know, I'm such a big fan of that basket weave style because it's just so classic. It never goes out of style. Uh, and it goes very nicely when you can pick up on the pave accents of this brooch. And it's just a very nice, larger size. 
So those are some of the highlights. We've got one other piece. Uh, we've got this large uh, amber styled and citrine brooch. This thing is just absolutely huge. Uh, and you can see this is that deeper smoky topaz amber color. And you know, look at how beautiful this looks actually against this you know beige color that also has the flashes of the gray within it and then the gold color too. So what a fabulous color. Uh-oh, here comes our friend. Say hello to everybody. Uh, do you have any fun facts to tell us today? Oh. That I love my mom. Oh, he loves his mom. How can you say no to that? Thank you. Whose birthday was it, Jess? You just learned about it in school. Who'd you celebrate? Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss. Yep. So there we go. So do you want to say good night to everybody? Getting to be such a big boy, isn't he? For those of you who have hung around forever, uh, remember when Mr. Michael didn't talk at all? So uh, we've come a long way. So uh, this is a gorgeous piece. This one features the uh, citrine yellow rhinestones layered up with the smoky topaz. And as you can see, it's just an absolutely huge size. Uh, and it just fills the whole entire area very nicely. Everybody says, hello, Mr. Michael. Hello, hello. Oh, and I know he says hello back to all of you. Uh, he's got to get ready for school tomorrow. Tomorrow's another e-learning day, but we, uh, my children are lucky now, or luckier, I should say. The elementary school is going to go back five days a week um, after spring break, so April 6th. And my daughters go hybrid on Mondays and Thursdays because they're the first half of the alphabet. So... Uh, and they did say today that they're planning on having a prom. So my daughter's a senior, so we'll still get to do that. And they're going to have senior night for the Palms girls. So we'll get to do that. So I do have some things that I am looking forward to doing and getting to celebrate with my children. So that means if I'm going to be wearing my jewelry, you can be wearing your jewelry too because as things slowly open back up and everything, we're going to have all kinds of occasions to be able to rock the pieces that we have in our jewelry box or the ones that we've had our eye on or the ones that we've acquired during this time and that we've just been looking forward to. Although I'm always telling you, just wear them for yourself. Just do it for you. That's who you should do it for. Uh, so, and that's even that. I don't mean to get too personal, but somebody asked me where I wear, uh, why I wear nice nightgowns to bed. And I said, for me, I said, I want to look good when I lay down to rest my head. So, and I like when I look nice, even when I get up in the morning and my hair is every place. So, you know, why not? So I like to wear things that even have a pretty floral print print. Um, you know, I think you should do those types of things for yourself and remember, love yourself so that you can give to others. So these are those sweet little pearl bonbon earrings. They're super, super fun, very easy to wear. Um, I don't actually have it down here because I we have it upstairs, but I have a navy sweater that's from J. Crew that has little pink flowers on it and then it has little faux pearls on it. This looks so pretty. So if you have any of those sort of embellished tops that might have some pearl pieces mixed into it, these are not too much and they look very, very nice with that sort of styling. And again, like, I'm sorry, I've just been, why didn't I wear this top tonight? Because I keep over and over again being able to show you the versatility of all the different things that you can wear with it. Um, but of course, this just goes with everything. Of course, I have the brighter colors on with this really dynamic blue, this very bright blue tonight. And you can see the way a classic pearl can really just dress up something as simple as a scoop neck tank. And then both of these are from Thread Up too. So this is from J. Crew from Thread Up, and then this was from Thread Up as well. So I tend to, I've said this before, a lot of people have asked me how do I decide what to add for my closet when I'm shopping consignment. And the reality is, is that I always look for brands that I always that I know how the fit is already so and I've told you before J crew is a brand that fits me well uh, fits me in the right places I don't have to struggle with the zippers or the necklines so when I do shop online I tend to look for brands like J crew and Taylor Talbot's um, all of those fit my body shape and my body size so it's really easy to be able to scroll through and know like oh well that would look good on me because I can tell by the cut but the best part is all of the jewelry, everything that I'm showing you tonight, uh, it always fits. You do not even have to guess whether or not it's going to fit or not because that is the fun part. Uh, it always fits. The jewelry always fits. Uh, you know, you see all my quotes 
about how I'm not easily distracted by jewelry. I am easily distracted by sparkles all the time. Uh, I love being able to actually pick pieces up. Let's see if I can find the little spring ring on this one. I have to put this one back on because this one is my favorite. Uh, and I love being able to show how easy it is to be able to wear. You just have to get the pearls kind of lined up when you put it on with the chain. But this is definitely one of my favorites. So I have to put this one back on because I want to end the show with this one on. Um, yes, that's me being alone. I still want to look good at night, even when I put on my jewelry and lip gloss. Perfect. Do it. I love it. I want you to do more of it. So, um, yeah. And I love that you show me your pictures too. You're not alone. You got all of us. So we've got so many beautiful pieces this week. Everything is up for adoption for you as I put it. Um, we've got so many beautiful pieces, so many beautiful colors, uh, so many pieces that are easy to wear both dressy and casual. Uh, uh, so I know that you're going to find something that is the perfect piece for you and you know you can really enjoy the pieces. I hope tonight by holding up some of the different clothes and some of the different styles that if you've got more of those types of things hanging in your closet you can envision the way that you can actually wear them with what you have. And also we are coming into a spring season whether you do the ton item or you do a capsule wardrobe or whether you just treat yourself to some different things. Uh, you know, when you go along and have that sort of style and pieces, you can always find different kinds of jewelry, especially things that are transitional. You know, I have to highlight the fact again that, you know, this is a really fabulous brooch and those kite earrings that go with it, you know, that's another great piece. These are really nice neutrals. They're a unique style, unique design. I think the fact that they even have the frosted stones makes them a little bit more edgy if you really want to dress them down. And, you know, we even have those sweet little lightweight pearl earrings that just go with everything. So there's just a little bit of something for everyone. Uh, that Lisner piece, like I said, this one's a fun one. Normally we show things that are on those daintier style chains. It's nice to see something on a thicker chain. And I love that we have so many classic necklaces this week. I love that we have so many pieces that can so easily be worn with different necklines and different styles. Uh, they can be dressed up, they can be dressed down. And that's kind of the beauty of them. Plus they're pieces that never go out of style. So you know, I'll show you, I showed you earlier the way that we had that necklace that had the uh, Venetian glass with it. But for example, this would also look very pretty filling the neckline of something that's just classic with this that's got, you know, the lightweight floral print on it. And I'm gonna tell you, spoiler alert, this was a top from Meyer. My daughter picked it out for me at the last minute for Valentine's Day and said, I really like it, Mom. It's got just the right amount of red and you always wear red lipstick. And she's right. Uh, and you know, that's a perfect example. And I think it's actually really sweet when my kids find things that they think would look nice on me. So perfect example of how you can mix the high and the low together, how you can mix the vintage and the modern together. It's really easy. And so many of you here are loyal fans and you're here every week. So I hope that you enjoyed getting to see the jewelry. As always, I enjoy getting to spend my time with you. Uh, it's a nice way to enjoy Wednesday night, that middle of the week breakup. And of course, it's always fun to look at pieces that are truly unique. If you saw my blog post and you can't buy it on Amazon, it's true, you can't buy it on Amazon. So as much as we all love to prime and wine and we all love to be able to have things, these pieces just like they're vintage and they go back decades uh, and with different designers. Yes, the perfect part about it is that, you know, they're worth the wait. And the perfect piece always goes to the perfect person. I always say that. If it's meant to be for you, it's meant to be for you. So that's my show. I had a lot of fun. I enjoyed getting to show you my favorite pieces. I'll be excited to find out which ones are yours. Uh, and as always, it's been a lot of fun. I also just wanted to let you all know that for those of you who were in the group last night, I know that Leanne finished putting in all the links for the post on my skincare pieces. So I'll drop that back over in the private Facebook group and you can go on and you can take a look at it whenever you like. So everyone have a great evening. Uh, happy Wednesday. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day. Uh, and I can't wait to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much uh, and much love and good health to all of you. Bye.